Uh, good evening. Uh, tonight I'm going to be trying a uh, New Belgium Triple, uh, which is an ale brewed with coriander. Um, for oh, excuse me, 7.8% um, alcohol. Uh, geez, I can't even talk. 7.8% alcohol by volume. Um, and so this is a Belgian. Oops, excuse me. This is a Belgian double. I'm very scatterbrained today. A Belgian double, which is in the Belgian strong ale category. Uh, the style is 18B. Um, so normally the range of IBUs is about 15 to 25, uh, and then the alcohol by volume is 6 to 7.6 percent. So this is actually at 7.8. Oh, I'm looking at a double. Holy smokes. Okay. I think I finally got it together. Okay. The style is a Belgian triple, which is category 18C, um, and the IBUs are between 20 and 40, and the alcohol by volume is 7.5 to 9.5. Okay, so um, now that I'm on the right page, literally, we can give this a shot. Um, so, uh, New Belgium says, uh, a Belgian yeast strain, a trace of coriander, and a blast of hops is the triple threat this Belgian style ale struts each time you reach for our bottle conditioned triple. Um, so in a bottle conditioned, conditioned triple, uh, or in bottle conditioned beer, sometimes they'll have, um, um, there'll be some yeast highlighting, and I can actually see a little bit of yeast uh, in the bottom of this. So I'm actually going to, um, uh, hopefully not make this bubble up everywhere and make a mess, but um, just so we can get all the yeast out of this bottle. Um, I'm going to um, pour this into what really is masquerading as a tulip beer glass, but it's a um, brandy snifter. Okay. So, ooh, it smells fruity. This has a nice fruity smell. There's um, a nice malt backbone to it. Lots of good yeastiness going on. Um, and an interesting hop finish. It's actually... Mm, kind of citrusy. Mm. Really, really nice smell. Um, Color-wise, it's a nice, beautiful, um, golden uh, color. It's pretty heavily carbonated. It did definitely pour with a head, um, and um, it's going to retain for a while. Probably going to be seeing the Belgian lacing uh, down the glass as we drink. Um, flavor. Hmm. Wow, this is um, this is a very enjoyable beer. Um, sometimes I feel like uh, Belgian ales have a little bit more uh, yeast character than I care for, and um, they tend to be kind of spicy um, and have a very distinct uh, flavor. This has those characteristics, um, but it's just very well mixed with hops bitterness and malt sweetness. Um, <clears throat> it's really just a, re uh, a really, really nicely balanced um, combination of those three uh, characteristics. Um, really, really enjoyable. Um, there is a little bit of an alcohol burn. Um, And some, but only just barely, geez. And just a, a nice creaminess, which is actually very enjoyable. Um, and it kind of combats the the um, the finish that wants to be citrusy, spicy, um, and dry with this nice creaminess. It has this nice, full um, mouthfeel. Very, very pleasant beer. Um, I don't know how many... I, I swear that I had done a video on this before, but I couldn't find it. Um, this is actually listed as a commercial example 
uh, of a Belgian triple um, up there with with um, Chimay, uh, Afflegem, uh I mean, those are heavy hitters. Um, so you can you can be uh, very confident that that this is uh, an amazing beer. Very very uh, uh, very to style. Um, so comments on this particular. Um, oh, so history. It was originally popularized by the Trappist Monastery at West Mall, uh, and comments, uh, it's high in alcohol, but does not taste strongly of alcohol. Um, the best examples are sneaky, not obvious. High carbonation and attenuation helps bring out the many flavors and to increase the perception of a dry finish. Most Trappist versions have at least 30 IBUs and are very dry, traditionally bottle conditioned or re-fermented in the bottle. Um, and, um, it's a, let me see here, um, and part of the reason it's, it's sweet, and I think that it combats that kind of spiciness that we're expecting in the hops, um, strong hops, is that, um, the light color and relatively light body for a beer of this strength are the result of using a Pilsner malt and up to 20% white sugar, um, and so it definitely, um, lends to um, a brightening of the flavor. I mean, it's just like if you put, um, you know, sugar in, geez, in a mojito even, uh, which I've mixed recently, um, it just kind of brightens everything up. You're able to get more of the flavor profile of everything. Um, and um, which is just a great combination with the kind of spiciness that the yeast would offer. Uh, and then the hard hitting hops. The coriander is great. I think it really lends to the, the drying finish um, and the creamy body, just an amazing beer. I'm, I'm really very thankful. Um, as a matter of fact, my girlfriend picked this out and said, here, you need to do a, a review on this. And, um, she is indeed correct. Um, this is an amazing beer. So, um, if this is something that you have tried, let me know your thoughts about it. Um, and, um, where you found it. I found this at a, um, at a liquor store that has a lot of really interesting beers. Um, where I got the $15 six pack, um, by, um, the, the Hawaiian Brewing Company. But anyway, um, this is enjoyable and great. I want to hear that you have tried it and, um, share with me your experience. I would love to hear. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.